All right, here's all the loot from the Auburn citywide garage sale. There were hundreds and hundreds of houses, just like the previous years, but this year I got a ton of stuff. Um, probably because I decided to get Legos this time. Um, the previous years I didn't really focus on that, but I've been getting into that, just buying up large bins of Legos. Um, toys I try to stay away from or be very selective, but I did find some um, Pokemon items and some little figures here that I'll show you guys, but overall just a lot of stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and start up here. One of the first garage sales I went to had a bunch of Legos. So here's the bin. Legos fill one baggie for one dollar. and. This is a pretty good sized bin. So I decided to offer $7 for everything instead of just filling up the sandwich bags uh, for a dollar each. And I anticipated her countering with $10 and that's exactly what she did. But what I did was I threw in these extra Legos that she had on the side that she was selling separately. This is like a Batman vehicle and that one was like a Iron Man vehicle, motorcycle, and then this uh, building structure and then she had a bunch of items in the free bin so I decided to pick those up too I'll give those to my nephews so ten bucks for that and at the very next garage sale I found these two huge bins of Legos and they wanted $25 for both bins and these are huge bins and all these uh, instruction manuals were included um, lots of minifigures in here uh, they, it was still early in the day, so they wouldn't let me haggle too much, but out of the $25 starting price, I was able to get both these bins for $20, and it was going to a good cause. It was going to Auburn um, Riverside High School. Uh, they were doing like a fundraiser, and they threw in these two uh, box Legos, so that was pretty cool. Oh, and there's like a minifigure there that's kind of lingering. That was included as well. At the, no at the next garage sale, all these Pokemon uh, plushies were there. And they were a quarter each. Um, pretty good deal. Um, I think this big uh, Tepig was 50 cents. But Oshawott and Pikachu, um, Chinchar, Meryl, Ivysaur, um, was that Gengar? Um, and mm, Bonsley? I don't remember exactly, but got all those quarter each pretty good deal then I went to another garage sale I, I think there was like three or four houses that didn't have anything then I found uh, a bin with some 3ds games so we got Lego Batman 3 Beyond Gotham Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon Yoshi's New Island and Legend of Zelda Triforce Heroes two dollars each that was really good. And I bought these Wii titles for a dollar each. Lego Batman 2, DC Super Heroes, and Rock Band 2 with the dongle. Um, so that was pretty good for a dollar, but not as good as those 3DS games for two bucks. Over here, I actually picked the, this lot up later in the day. Um, I saw the price tag. It was inside a box. They wanted fifty dollars for everything and no wonder that this was left behind nobody wanted to pay fifty dollars at a yard sale for a bunch of PS2 games and I made sure I mentioned that um, you know nobody wants to buy a bunch of sports titles and common games because I don't see any RPG games here um, but it did come with a PS2 Slim all the cords a silver PS2 controller a few memory cards some 30 par third party controllers and then this CD case with about 30 more games now these case games are about uh, I think 38 total so there's about 70 games total and I asked if they would do 30 they had to think about it a bit but eventually they let it go for 30 and I left the uh, the guitar because uh, it looked like it was broken but let's go over the games got several sports games here at the top I won't go over those now we got uh, Gran Turismo 3 Gran Turismo 4 Tony Hawk's Underground 
Guitar Hero 3, Legends of Rock, Mountain Bike, Adrenaline, Wave Rally, Beach Volleyball, Summer Heat, Guitar Hero Aerosmith, SingStar Amped, and it did come with the SingStar uh, microphones, Star Wars Battlefront, Lego Star Wars, Soul Calibur 3, SSX Tricky, Cars, Winnie the Pooh's Rumbly Tumbly Adventure, Extreme Legends, Pirates of the Caribbean, ATV Off-Road Fury 3, Resident Evil Outbreak, Naruto, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Tokyo Extreme uh, Racer Drift 2, Monsters Inc., uh, oh another copy of Tony Hawk's Underground, Lego Indiana Jones, Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End, Karaoke Revolution, MX vs. ATV Unleashed, Cartoon Network Racing, Dynasty Warriors 5, and Shrek the Third. And I won't go over all 30 or so loose discs here, but I mean that's pretty good for 30 even though they're mostly common games. I mean there's some good titles, Star Wars Battlefront and some other known ones. But, you know, 50 no one was buying it, but for 30, I'm a buyer. At the next garage sale, I found these. These are some heavy, I don't know, they're pewter or something. They're like a heavy material, uh, little mini statues. Uh, this one is Nightwing. That one is Deathstroke. And then this one is Cyborg. Then we got Raven here. And they're really heavy, really good quality here. I paid a quarter each. They wanted 50 cents each, and I said, hey, would you do all four for a dollar? And they did. They also had a bunch of video games because I asked if they had any video games, and they said, oh, we got a ton, but we're keeping them all. And that's been the trend um, this summer. I've been having all these people say, oh, no, we got a bunch, but we're keeping it this time. So I can't really do anything about that. Um, but hopefully next year they decide to sell it. Okay, another garage sale. So I saw this, uh, this kid and he had a bunch of DS games. And he didn't have any of the Pokemon stuff out. And I asked him, hey, do you have any Pokemon or Mario games or Zelda games? And he said, oh yeah, I got some Pokemon games. He went upstairs, got these. He charged me $3 each for this top row. So that's Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Pokemon White Version 2, Pokemon Black, and Big Hero 6 Battle in the Bay. Then a buck each for the Cooking Mama and Nintendogs, and then five bucks for this uh, DS Lite Cobalt with uh, this pretty cool um, carrying case. So overall, all in all, I gave him 20 bucks for everything. So he got an extra buck. Okay, next, oh, I remember this. So I went to a garage sale and this guy had his uh, camping gear and tents up. Um, asked him if he had any video games. Started listing some stuff off and he said, oh yeah, I got some, but they're mostly loose discs. So he's talking about these. And then he had the Wii system and he, he was emphatic. He's like, I gotta show you that it works before you go. So he actually took up a lot of my time, but it did work. Um, but he sold me everything for $15. So we got new Super Mario Bros for Wii, two controllers, all the cords, we got Portal 2 for the 360, Far Cry 4 for Xbox One, more 360 games, which is the Orange Box, Reflex MX versus ATV, Left 4 Dead 2, Need for Speed the Run Limited Edition, and Xbox Live Arcade Game Pack. So all that for 15 bucks, not too shabby. A um, couple garage sales later, I went to this uh, garage sale and he had a bunch of sports cards, but then I spotted this Game Boy, this OG Game Boy with uh, Metroid 2. He wanted $2 for this. I asked him if he had any more games. He said he sold a GameCube and an X N64 system earlier in the day and nobody spotted this, um, so that's probably why it was left over. So, 
good for me, but I wish I was there earlier. Next we have another Wii system. Um, it's been the summer of Wiis lately. Uh, we got this Wii Sports, two Wiimotes, all the cords with the Wii system, $10. Um, they said it worked, uh, so I trusted them, but not too shabby for that either. We got this PS2 system. It's just the system itself, no cords, no games, no controllers, five bucks. Uh, we got two um, games here. We got the Xbox 360 uh, game, Jurassic Park, and we have Star Wars uh, Jedi Outcast. So I got that for $2 each. At another garage sale, I picked up this Game Boy Advance SP Platinum Color and this Pokemon Leaf Green Authentic for seven bucks. Got this Game Boy Player for a dollar and I, I found it in a CD bin, so that was good. Now this one is a big bundle that I put together. I went to this uh, kind of richer uh, neighborhood. Um, all the houses were new development. And what I spotted first was this TI-89 Titanium uh, graphing calculator. They wanted $25 for that. Um, that typically goes for uh, $60 to $65 online. Um, that's a recouper. I would flip that to, in order to pay for other video games that I picked up re uh, lately. But I asked him if they had any video games. He comes out with a, like a bag of all this stuff. Just a bunch of random stuff. So we got a Wii with Wii Sports, two controllers, nunchuck, all the cords, microphone, Pokemon Leaf Green, so another one, Mega Man Battle Network 3, white version, Mega Man Battle Network 2, a GameCube controller, two PS3 wands, uh, I think this is a PlayStation 2 third party controller, buzz controllers. Um, charging cradle, a bunch of games. He wanted a few bucks each for the games, but I bundled everything. Got New, uh, new Super Mario Brothers, another one. Mario Kart, Grand Theft Auto 5, NBA 2K13, WWE 2K14, FIFA Soccer 13, Sports Championships, Buzz Quiz World, Marvel Superhero Squad, the Infinity Gauntlet, Injustice, Gods Among Us, and Watch Dogs. Uh, so I bundled everything for $60, which definitely is a steal because the uh, calculator alone, once I sell that, basically pays for everything else. So all this would be free once the calculator sells. So that was a, a really good bundle. Uh, next, I was really surprised at this lot. I rarely find good um, PS1 games and uh, NES games at the same place at a cheap price. So first, I'll show you the PS1 games. We got Bomberman for a dollar, Resident Evil 2 for a dollar, Time Crisis for a dollar. Then we got some uh, PS2 and Xbox games. We got Star Wars, Starfighter, and Tony Hawk's Underground, dollar each. Also got Marvel Avengers Battle for Earth. That was a, a dollar as well, and it's sealed. Then I got excited when I saw this. The Legend of Zelda and Super Mario Bros. 2. Two bucks each. Rarely find uh, NES games nowadays. At another garage sale. This was pretty exciting too, seeing GameCube games. I paid a dollar each. Um, they had a bin, everything was marked a dollar, mix of GameCube games, PS2 games, and DVDs. I just picked out all the GameCube games and bought those. We got The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. Medal of Honor Frontline. Medal of Honor European Assault. Medal of Honor Rising Sun. A loose copy of Luigi's Mansion. We got the two disc of Metroid Prime, so it has the bonus disc. Peter Jackson's King Kong. Ratatouille. Marvel Nemesis Rise of the Imperfects. The Incredibles. Madagascar. The Legend of Zelda 
Four Swords Adventures. Awesome pickup there. And this was the best. Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes complete in box with both discs. Awesome for a dollar each. Yes. At that same garage sale, they had these marked for $15 each. Okay, so we had a pink DSi. Really awesome shape here. Came with the cords, the charging cords. And then we have another pink metallic DS. And another pink metallic DS. This is like the fourth one, third and fourth one that I found um, within the last like, three weeks. It's crazy. Um, but I bundled all this for $50. So this would have been 60, but I asked if he would do 50 since I'm buying everything and he agreed. So I got $10 off. Here we have a Wii bundle. So I paid $30 for this. A little bit more than I usually do for a Wii bundle, but it came with some good titles and they weren't budging on the price much. So we got Goosebumps Horror Land, Michael Jackson The Experience, Wipe Out the Game, Game Party, and then some of the better ones, Mario Kart Wii, which is already a 20 plus dollar game. Sonic Riders Zero Gravity, The Legend of Spyro, Dawn of the Dragon, Super Smash Bros. Brawl, and another new Super Mario Bros. for Wii. Oh, and I forgot one more. WWE Smackdown vs. Raw 2008. So all that for 30 bucks. Not bad. And lastly, I want to show you guys this. This was a nice little lot here. I paid $30 for everything. I got Zelda for Game Boy, Pokemon Silver, Tetris, Bomberman GB, an authentic Pokemon Fire Red version. You guys gotta watch out for those fakes. Um, the way you can tell is there's like a little stamp um, on the right side. It's kind of like engraved, an engraved stamp. Then we got Spyro, Season of Ice. We have some DS games, mostly girly games, but we got Family Game Night, Style Lab, Fashion Design, Style Lab, Jewelry Design, Style Savvy, and the best one, Mario Kart DS. So all those games and these three systems for 30 bucks. So we got the DS Lite, the Game Boy SP, and the DSIXL. Um, both of these booted up. I have to charge the SP, but I'm assuming that work will work as well. And some carrying cases. So that is the haul, everybody. Lots and lots of stuff. Alright, thanks for watching, everybody.